Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back, or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Man From The South. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are yes, you are going to love it around here. So, today uh, is Tuesday when I'm filming this, and today is Wimbledon day. I've been invited to go to Wimbledon, uh, which is super excited. Sip Smith, who I absolutely love, said, do you want to come along? Centre court, hospitality, drinks, food, and tennis. And I said, yeah, I really do. And um, I thought, do you know what? I'll, I'll do like a get ready. So it's kind of taking in my summer skincare. It's changed. Some sort of top tips for products to be using throughout the sort of warmer months. Uh, warmer, London, we have rain at the moment. Also kind of hair care. I'm gonna show you a sort of a smarter style. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I want it to look a bit gritty. You're gonna see that. And I wanna show you what I'm wearing. Now in this video, I'm working with Lanieri. This is the second time I've worked with these guys. They are great. I have got my custom made suits from there. They are beautiful suits and I've managed to get you an offer. They're 100% Italian, they are sustainable, they're zero waste, they only make stuff when someone orders it and they are beautiful. So you are gonna hear more about them. Um, but for now, I'm on the coffee. I'm gonna get into the bathroom. I have been to CrossFit this morning. That's why I look, I look greasier and sweatier than ever, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. And I had a bit of a break before, so yeah. Uh, come on, we'll take you into the bathroom. Welcome to the bathroom. Okay, so the first thing I um, always do is, we have light. Uh, is to clean my teeth. My teeth have been cleaned, so I went to the gym this morning. Um, generally, you should, one should shave after having a shower because your skin is open, um, the, you can kind of get a closer, a cleaner shave, but I break my own rules. I actually shave before I shower because this is close and it doesn't hurt. A lot of shaving hurts. Bronze Series 7, so I'm actually just, um, I'm keeping some of this at the moment. I will trim it back slightly, but I really just want to get onto the neck and take it off. Just really focusing on the neck and not taking anything off. I will take some off on the cheeks just to neaten up here. Gotta be careful. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the top and I'm gonna go for a five grade. And I'm just gonna take some of this down just ever so slightly, almost like blending it so it's slightly shorter here and longer into here. And then I'm gonna take a three and just kind of build down. And then I'm gonna go just a two into here. And then a bold blade, just to take into here. And then I just get any overhanging hairs of the moustache. The moustache might be making a comeback, perhaps. I'm gonna get the tweezers and just take out some of these little strays in here. Don't go too far. Fine. Right, next, I'm gonna hop in the shower. No one needs to see that, and if that gets out, then my career is over. So I am going to show you the products I'm using. Not gonna wash my hair today, because I want it to be a bit gritty. It's gonna be kind of like sleek, but not. You're gonna see. Uh, face wash, I will use. CeraVe, great. Really light foaming, it's just gonna clear the skin. And then shower gel, I'm gonna go for Corez Fake. This is beautiful, and it will layer really well with fragrance. I'll be back, and I'll see you in the dressing room. I am back. Welcome to my dressing room. This is where I do my skin, do my hair, and I get ready. Um, firstly, once I've washed my face, I always use a toner. Toners, to me, have been quite life-changing, and um, they've really sort of changed my skin. They've made it feel more comfortable, they've hydrated it, they've softened it. There's a couple that I like at the moment. This one by Tropic, Pore Refining Mist. Really does sort of reduce the look of pores um, and also just gives you a huge sort of hydration boost. Or this brand new one. It's pricey, but I like it. The new Boy de Chanel. Um, this is good for reducing shine. So if you do have a slightly shiny skin, then it could be good for you. You don't need very much. It's also good to calm the skin after shaving. So I'm going to pop in. I'll link everything down below in the description. I'll also have the uh, the note of the discount code um, for Lanieri. Okay, so serums are another one that I think you guys should be thinking about. I know that when it comes to skincare, the easiest thing to do is to wash your face and apply a moisturizer and an SPF. But if you're wanting to scale up and you're wanting to kind of 
start personalizing, um, much like sort of getting the perfect tailored suit as you're gonna see. Skincare should be about tailoring, so finding something that works for you. For me, if I want like a good hydration, I'll use something like something with hyaluronic acid that this has. Um, this has also got plant peptides. This is rainforest dew. This gives me a sort of dewy complexion, makes me look youthful. Or if I want a bit of a glow, I'll use a vitamin C serum. Um, I'm not gonna do that thing where people drop it onto the skin, so I think it's bullshit, but I'm just gonna do about three to six drops. It's got about four, and I'm gonna, just press it into the skin. But you will find a serum that does kind of exactly what you need. Right, next, I'm gonna use a bit of under eye cream. This is Dr. Dennis Gross. There's, again, different types of eye creams. I've used a caffeine one by the Inky List. I've used ones by Murad. There's so many out there. You can put this on your eyelids. You just need to be very careful Moisturizer, this is one I've used for years, this is Murad. Um, this again mattifies the skin. If you are someone with shiny, oily skin and you're going out to something or you're just having a day, then something like this is fantastic. It doesn't clog the skin, it doesn't feel heavy. It's gonna moisturize, hydrate, and it's gonna keep the skin looking shine free. Before I do my hair, I'm gonna work out what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a shirt, I'll do my hair first, then I'll put the shirt on. Um, if I'm gonna wear like a sort of jersey t-shirt, that's gotta go over, so I will put that on first, and then I will do my hair and finish my skin. Um, so this is the suit. This is my double-breasted lanieri. Um, I will link the suit and I will tell you all about the different fabric, but essentially, this is a three-step process. One, pick your fabric. Two, customize, that's the fun bit. You can decide, is that a single-breasted suit? Is that a double-breasted suit like I've gone for? You can decide where the pockets are. You can decide the, the type of collar. I like a peak lapel. I love it. You can also get shawl lapels, so they're more rounded, more like a sort of uh, a smoking jacket. You can decide on the back in terms of the vents and the cut, uh, the button. So if you want a contrast button, I've just gone a little black number there. I, I am a peacock, yes. I like to wear things that are bold, but I also like classic, and the older I get, the more kind of classic I get. But I love this. Um, this is a spring summer suit, so it is lighter, it's 100% wool, and it's gorgeous. And there is a code for 20% off, which will be in the description below, and a link so you can click it. Even if you just wanna have a go of customizing something, give that a shot, because you can then kind of see the types of things that you like. Um, it is so easy. Once you've done that, you measure. And you can either measure with a friend um, or by yourself, which I did, which makes it slightly more difficult, or you can do, so that's online, or you can um, have a call with someone on, on WhatsApp and they go through everything with you and tell you how to do it. It could not be easier. What I also like about this is, and I said at the start, it's zero waste, so they only produce stuff when someone's ordered it. Um, also 100% Italian, so it's all done in Italy. The fabrics are beautiful, um, and they're also fair in terms of labor. So you know that what you're buying is gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Oh, and I almost forgot my deodorant. Wild, aluminum free, and it works. Um, a few people said aluminum free deodorant can't work. It does, it's great. And I've bought a few more of these. I've bought three more cartridges to top up. I really like them. Anyway, let me get ready. Right, there's a really large part of me that just kind of wants to go t-shirt, like a nice t-shirt, go a bit more classic. Um, and again, I sweat so much. The suit is really lightweight, but I just know if I'm inside. If I wear a suit, uh, sorry, if I wear a shirt, I just know I will complain all day. I'll be uncomfortable. Whereas this, also because I always get stuff that kind of sits more on here. I'm a guy with a waist, I'm a guy with a love handles, but actually by getting this sort of made so that it sits on my shape, it just feels, it kind of gives me the confidence boost. Sometimes with a suit, I feel like it's really cutting me in half and I'm just looking chunky and I don't want that. Um, but I really like this. It's also got, um, like suspender buttons, so if you're gonna wear uh, braces, these are in it, um, and I'll get some little bits, you can see the uh, inside lining I've gone with. I thought it was quite cute, sort of bits of blue, and then also with the turn up to the bottom, 
Let me get the blazer. Hold fire. Thoughts? I really like that. I know there are going to be people saying I would have worn a white shirt or would have gone shirt and tie, but this is more me and this is what style is about. It's why I don't often do style content because it's so personal. Find something that works for you. And always leave the bottom button undone. That is nice, isn't it? Look, perfect. Perfect cut. You like it? Okay, and then a little sort of silky, what's well, not silky, it's silk, pocket square. Hmm, I don't know that one. Oh, Alexa, it's you. What's she up to? Anyway, uh, I like this and I've also been thinking more about this dress code. It's smart casual. If I'm gonna go, if I'm going to go with the suit, which is gorgeous, it's very much me, that sounds like I'm full of myself. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful suit. If I'm gonna do it with a shirt and a tie, I just think that's gonna push me into more wedding territory, which I definitely would wear this too. But I think this gives it the balance of smart casual, like a perfect blue suit with a nice navy t-shirt. Um, what I'm gonna do is, let's go back into the dressing room. I'm gonna do my hair, and then I'm gonna give this a quick steam because I've just had it hanging up and yeah, then we'll have a final look. There, okay, hair-wise, I want it to be slick, but I kind of want it to be textured, um, almost like it's quite saturated. I did it on Saturday night or the other Saturday and it kind of was a bit of a 90s look and I kind of want to uh, go for that again. So my hair is still damp actually from after the shower. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it with a little bit of probably a thickening tonic, give it a blast with a hair dryer, medium heat, fast speed, and when that's done, I'm gonna move on to the pomade. And for styling product, I'm gonna use this. This is the water-based goon grease by Lockhart. Um, I know it's pomade, but I like this because actually it's really very heavy um, and it is water-based, so it means you can wash it out. And it's just going to kind of lock in this shape. So into the hands, emulsify, layer it, always layer it. Okay, back to front. Just coating at the surface before you put your hands through. Tease it back. And because I've not washed the hair, it's kind of going with that sort of second day texture, slightly grungy. Um, I say second day, I've not washed it in four days. Quite a lot for me. Yes, I know I went to the gym this morning, but I'm still using water, you know, I'm still getting it in and it's not smelling. Also, I will be dousing myself with fragrance before I go out, so you'll see that. Pull that. Push this side back. Pull this side forward. Tease this forward. A bit, a bit of a nod to the 90s. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, one thing I'm gonna do. Never underestimate the power of an eyebrow. I'm gonna be meeting people I don't know and I want them transfixed on my eyes. So the blue will pull them in because I have blue eyes. And then this is an eyebrow gel. It's clear, no one will see it. They will just see your gorgeous brows and your gorgeous eyes. And I go against the way the hair is and it just pulls everything up. Just helps to set them. There we go. Uh, fragrance. I want, um, I want something a bit impactful, but I want something warming. I, I often think, you know, if you're meeting someone new, what do you want to say about yourself? And I want to say that I am classic, confident and summary. So let's do, here we go. Tuscan leather, Tom Ford. I love this. The performance is fantastic. 
it lasts, it projects, it smells amazing. Leather can feel, and I say this all the time in my fragrance videos, if you've not seen them, where have you been? Please do press subscribe. Um, leather can sometimes be a bit heavy, it can be, I think, quite aging, it can feel stuffy, but this is like soft leather that's been left out in the sun. It's got a creaminess to it, it's got a lightness to it, it's sophisticated, there's a decadence about it, it's a nuzzler, and it's so gorgeous, and it's so summer appropriate, and Tuscan leather, we're talking Italy, and I'm going 100% Italian in terms of the suit. So let's see. Here we are. And I think I'm gonna go a brown shoe. Shoes are something I don't have a lot of. But I do, I think I'm gonna go like brown shoes, just keep it quite classic. Black won't work with this. I mean, it could do um, like so. Oh, you can see the lining too. I just went with the same. So I just went blue, but you could go like a contrasting color, but I just want to keep it like that. Um, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give you a, a whip round and show you the full thing. But remember, I have that code, uh, which will get you 20% off. All the details of what you can and can't do will be in the description below. Also, all the products I've used, I will let you know. I am super excited for this. It feels like I've not been out properly in ages. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to meet new people. I'm going to watch some tennis. I'm going to have good food and good drink. But thank you very much for sticking with me on this one. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you've still not yet pressed subscribe, then hey, come on, seriously. Please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. So also more video suggestions there. Um, and my blog is down there. But until my next video, bye-bye.